I'm Aaron Sage. I'm the CEO of Sage Oil Back. And at this IQ, we're uh, launching our Next Lube product. Uh, Sage Oil Vac, we build pumpless oil change systems. And uh, our system uses compressed air to make vacuum and compressed air to deliver fluid. And we've been building that product for the last 20 years. And uh, this year, as I mentioned, we're, we're launching Next Lube monitor system. And Next Lube is, is bringing the controls of the unit and more information back to this uh, panel that allows the operator of this particular trailer to run everything from this screen. We realize that uh, with today's workforce, maybe there's less experienced people being hired to do uh, oil changes and service, and it's an intuitive platform that allows them to uh, choose which fluids they want to dispense. It allows them to see exactly how many gallons they have in each tank allows them to properly label all the fluids they have in there to uh, avoid any cross-contamination or mixing of oils. So here's an overview of this particular uh, Sage Oil Vac fuel and lube trailer. This particular trailer has 500 gallons of diesel, 180 gallon used oil tank, and four 80 gallon fresh oil tanks, as well as a grease system. So this is a top view of the system and uh, the operator can actually see how much fluid he has in the tank by selecting it. So I'm going to select this tank here. And this is the 80-90 uh, weight uh, tank and there's uh, 34 gallons of fluid in this 80 gallon tank. We have uh, fluid level sensors in each tank that will specifically show how much oil is in there. There's actually, uh, and it show them that there's 79 PSI in this tank and it's ready to dispense. So as I mentioned, our system doesn't use any, uh, any, any fluid pumps to dispense oil. So I'm going to go ahead and just show, if it's okay, I'm going to just show this dispensing without a pump. This is a preset meter that we offer on much of our equipment. And I'm going to set it to two quarts and uh, dispense. And that's being done just with air pressure in the tank. There's no air compressor running or no... Uh, air piston pump or any kind of pump pumping that so we're at uh, 1.8 quarts so we got to two quarts and it shut off let's say the operator now wants to vacuum some fluid so he can go back to the next lube monitor screen go back to the overview of the trailer click on the used oil tank and the used oil tank is empty and there's 22 inches of vacuum. So he's ready to vacuum oil from whatever piece of equipment he wants to vacuum from. So We have some Femco drain plugs, uh, drain pan adapters on this uh, model of an engine drain uh, oil pan. And uh, we recommend our customers to put this on their fleet. And this makes oil changes a lot cleaner and quicker because they're not draining the oil and catching it in a pan. So. I'm just going to connect to here. This is a click drain Femco drainer. And uh, we're vacuuming out that two quarts into the used oil tank, again, without an air operated diaphragm pump or any type of pump. So if he was vacuuming oil in, let's say he was doing a, a, a truck engine and it held 12 gallons, then the 12 gallons would show in the tank and show what other capacity he had to do more oil changes. This uh, next lube system will also give the capability to do uh, remote monitoring. Um, so supervisors or an office that's in a you know far away from where the job site is can actually look into the system and see capacities that are that are in the tanks on this particular system. Um, you know, so that, that gives a lot more control for uh, knowing when to schedule oils, knowing how to schedule their, their, their maintenance guy. Um, so in a remote location, he can actually see, well, my operator that's 100 miles away has 50 gallons of motor oil and 30 gallons of gear oil, and uh, can schedule, you know, deliveries of oil easier, and even, uh, troubleshoot anything that's going on with the system. You can get in and look at it diagnostically and see uh, if there's anything wrong. Um, this system will also have the capability to do telematics if they want to track uh, how much fluid they're using on a specific piece of equipment. It'll store that data and then you know you can send that uh, 
via cell signal back to the office or you can store it all on the computer system and dump it to a USB drive at the end of the week or the end of the day and see how much oil was used in a particular job. So um, uh, that's our next lube monitor system that we're launching at IQ this year.